for the year 2020 i set the goal that i have to eat only healthy food but right now in front of me i have the most delicious cake at the same time the healthy papaya now i am in dynamo what to choose how to take decision that whether it's cake or papaya papaya or cake like guys most of the time often we have in confusion that what to choose for that you have to stick towards this video till the end because in the end you can choose the most favorable decision in a way you can achieve the goal you want hi friends in our last video we saw how to set a goal smartly how to seek towards your new year resolution in longer term if you are the person still doesn't watch it or still doesn't have any goal in your life hi attach direct link of that video in the description please check out the link and watch it and set a goal first because decision making is a skill is a deciding factor for achieving your goals if you don't have any goal in your life then how can you achieve it right so first watch it and set a goal first in our day to day life we take so many decisions from hit the alarm in the morning to set the alarm in the night from choosing what to eat to what not to eat like with so many decisions we take my humble request to you is next time before take any decision first understand the actual definition of decision making making a true decision means having a strong unshakable commitment towards your goals towards a result you want in my past days i was half on in stuck i was half on in confusion state to choose between right decision and wrong decision to identify which decision is good for me and which decision is not good for me for that my mentor gave me a beautiful one super simple tool to take a decision to take a tough decision even in the toughest situation you know what it is accept the favorable and reject the unfavorable mostly we all think the decision which makes you so happy instantly is a favorable decision and the decision which fail to make you happy instantly is a unfavorable decision but that's not true in this scenario my friends the actual difference between favorable and unfavorable is that decision which helps you to get closer to your goals is a favorable and the decision which fail you get closer to your goals is a unfavorable decision and that's why most of the experts call the decision making skill is a deciding factor for achieving goals in your life my friends to make more simple to understand the key difference between favorable and unfavorable i like to share my own past experience my friends in the year 2019 i had a goal that i have to participate 5k mini marathon in the end of the year but you know what friends during my entire school days i was a kid who don't even participate 100 meter sprint for that i strongly committed to wake up early in the morning and practice harder that's the favorable decision i took even though i had an option that don't even try to wake up early in the morning and don't even hit the ground my friends so always choose the decision which is favorable to you always choose the decision which helps you to get closer to your goals my friends sometimes we may worry about making wrong decision what if we regret the direction that we take and it's too late to go back for that remember my friends the biggest danger is not we making wrong decision the biggest danger is making no decision at all and end up going nowhere and doing nothing see friends success truly is result of good judgment and good judgment is often getting by experience and the experience is often getting by the result of bad judgment so it's okay to take wrong decision yet in short what i love to quote is at any situation don't bother about right or wrong decision rather choose the decision which helps you to achieve the goal you want